Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I am going to be reading from the Milady Standard Nail Technician book, Chapter 10, The Basics of Chemistry. That is what we are currently studying this week. So I want to, again, just read it out loud and kind of listen to it as I go along my commute here. Um, now it's about chemistry, so I'm going to go ahead and begin. Nail services are not possible without the use of chemicals. Why? Because everything you can see or touch except light and electricity is a chemical. Our entire world, our bodies, and even the oxygen we breathe are made of chemicals. Of course, this means that all cosmetics, including nail products, are entirely made up of chemicals. Therefore, it is important to understand that chemicals are and how they are used in the salon. To use professional products effectively and safely, all nail professionals need to have a basic understanding of chemistry. With this knowledge, you can troubleshoot and solve the common problems you may encounter in the nail services. This chapter provides you with an important overview of basic chemistry. Chemistry is the science that deals with the composition, structures, and properties of matter and how matter changes under different conditions. Organic chemistry is the study of substances that contain the element carbon. All living things or things that were once alive, whether they are plants or animals, contain carbon. Organic substances that contain both carbon and hydrogen may burn. Although the term organic is often used to mean safe or natural because of its association with living things, such as food or food ingredients, not all organic substances are natural, healthy, or safe. You may be surprised to learn that poison ivy, gasoline, motor oil, plastics, synthetic fabrics, pesticides, and fertilizers are all organic substances. All nail enhancements, nail tips, and nail polishes are organic chemicals. Or Organic does not mean natural or healthy. It means that the substance contains both carbon and hydrogen from either natural or synthetic sources. Inorganic chemistry is the study of the substances that do not contain carbon but may contain hydrogen. Most organic substances do not burn because they do not contain carbon. Inorganic substances are not and never will, were alive. Metals, minerals, glass, water, and air are inorganic chemicals. Titanium dioxide, a white pigment used to whiten polymer powders and UV gels as well as well as give opacity in the nail polish so they provide better coverage is an example of an inorganic substance. Matter. Matter is any substance that occupies space and has mass weight. All matter has physical and chemical properties and exists in the form of solid, liquid, or gas. All matter is made from organic or from chemicals, so everything made of matter is a chemical. Matter has physical properties that you can touch, taste, smell, or see. All matter is made up of chemicals. Visible light and electricity are the only examples of things you can see that are not made of matter, which explains why they are not considered to be chemicals. Light and electricity are forms of energy, and energy is not matter. Everything known to exist in the universe is either made of matter or energy. There are no exceptions to this rule. Energy does not occupy space or have mass, weight. Energy is discussed in Chapter 12, The Basics of Electricity. The chapter is dedicated to matter. Elements. Elements are the building blocks of nature. An element is the simplest form of chemical matter and cannot be broken down into a simpler substance without a loss of identity. There are 90 naturally occurring elements, each with its own distinctive physical and chemical properties. All matter in the universe is made up of these 90 different chemical elements. Each element is identified by a letter symbol such as O for oxygen, C for carbon, H for hydrogen, N for nitrogen, and S for sulfur, atoms. Atoms are the chemical particles from which all matter is composed. Therefore, all matter is made entirely of chemicals. Atoms are the structural units that make up the elements. Different elements are different from one another because the structure of their atoms is different. Each element is made from one type of atom, so differences between atoms are what make one element different from another. An atom is the smallest chemical particle of any element that retains the same properties of that element. Atoms cannot be divided into simpler substances by ordinary chemical means.